I'm going to show you how to transform this piece of furniture into a French shabby chic treasure, something that wouldn't look out of place in a design magazine. You'll find a lot of pieces of furniture like this in thrift shops, always in garage sales and sadly on garbage day left forgotten on the curb to go to landfill, which breaks my heart. I say we love, restyle and don't feed landfill. The first thing you need to do before you start to paint your project is to have a nice soft cloth, some warm water and a wee bit of dish detergent and give it a really good thorough wipe down to remove all the grease and dirt off of the surface. I recommend using a chalk or a clay based paint because it's really thick and it eliminates all that nasty sanding and priming. The first thing to do is to remove the hardware. I'll decide whether I want to paint those later. So I painted this piece twice. The first coat was very thin, let it dry, second coat a little bit thicker. Three coats normally does the trick and I'm just going to do the third coat now. I used the same paint for the hardware. I blew it dry with a hair dryer and then I rubbed it back with a damp cloth to expose some of the original surface. It's been painted with three coats. It looks very nice and clean. It's a lovely historical colour. It looks new. So the fun part begins now we're going to make it look old. When you're removing the paint, always remember to scrape it off on the edges and the raised parts where it would naturally wear over a period of time. And where the handles are, there's going to be a lot more wearing and we're going to use sandpaper to do that area. I'm going to antique the finish to make it look a bit older. And normally I would use an acrylic glaze with a tint, but I'm going to use water in a tint, but you use the glaze. The glaze is dry. I'm just going to sand over the surface very, very lightly with a fine sandpaper, this is 220, just to rub back the glaze a wee bit and bring out some of the texture. Now that it's finished, you can see the lovely patina after the sanding. Last step is just to seal it for protection with a clear wax. So here we have the finished project and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And it's a very sad state of affairs when someone would actually put a little treasure like this into landfill. When all you need is a wee bit of paint, a lot of love, some imagination and you have a little friend for the rest of your life. Well thanks for watching and I hope I do see you again real soon.